Bottle Head. And today, we're gonna make a quattro formaggi lasagna. That's a four cheese lasagna. Sebi, people are always asking, why is your lasagna so good at Morta Del Rey? Today, we're gonna show them how we make it, so they can make it at home. This is what we're gonna use today. We have these beautiful, homemade lasagna sheets. We have some fresh parsley, some provolone cheese, salt, pepper, some mozzarella cheese. We use the same cheese that we use on our pizzas. Nice marinara sauce. This is the one we make here. You guys can use your favorite marinara sauce. If you want to make it at home, make it. If you want to buy your favorite one at the store, buy it. Grated Romano cheese and some nice ricotta cheese. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our parsley and we're just going to give it a nice chop. This is flat leaf parsley. You might call it Italian parsley in the supermarket. If you can find curly parsley, you can use that. But, you know, this is, I think this is better. So just give it a nice rough chop. One of the things that makes our lasagna so good is the way we mix up our ricotta cheese. Instead of just using straight ricotta, we do a nice mix. We don't use eggs, because I, I don't know, for some reason I think it's creamier and it's got a better, better consistency when we don't use eggs. So we have a really good ricotta cheese here. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna take our ricotta, and we're gonna put it in a mixer bowl. All right, now we're gonna add some of the grated Romano cheese. Nice, healthy couple spoonfuls in there. Some salt, some black pepper, and some of that fresh pasta that we just chopped up. All right, here's a little trick that I like to do when we're mixing up our ricotta cheese. I put in a little bit of our marinara sauce. That way there you get the flavor from the onions, the garlic, the basil in it. It just helps you mix it up. Heat it up a little bit, it just makes it nice and creamy. You, wanna, you don't want too much, you just want to make it nice and pink. That smells really good right now. Now that's just the way we want it. Okay, now we're going to take our fresh pasta sheets and we're going to put them in some boiling water for like two minutes. Just dump them out onto a tray. These things are hot as hell, but if you're not going to cook these and you're not going to use them right away, you don't want them sticking together. So what I like to do is separate them give them a little squirt of olive oil so that when you're ready to use them, they come apart. You know, they kind of already stick a little bit. Put them a little olive oil and fire. Now, we have everything prepped and we are ready to construct our lasagna. This is the fun part. Build it one layer at a time. Build, repeat, build. You know what I mean, Mario? Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? The first, the first step is we're going to coat the bottom of our pan and if you notice, we're using this nice little takeout pan. This is, these are the pans that we use in the restaurant. These are the ones we use for our take and bake. These are the ones we ship in the mail. So it's like magic. You can go on, you can go on our website. You can click a button and the design will show you how it doesn't matter where you are in the country. The next step is we're going to put one of these beautiful lasagna sheets. Put that in, tuck it right in to make sure it's nice and flat. Now we're going to add our ricotta cheese mixture, a little dollop there, a little dollop there, spread it around as best you can, you cover that spot right there. The next step, we're going to take some provolone cheese, nice sliced provolone, that's going to go in there, top that off, a little bit more of our marinara sauce, spread it around as best you can, cover all cover all the, uh, the area, okay, get those corners, get the corners right, and then Sprinkle a little bit of grated Romano cheese. Now we're going to just repeat that process a few times until our lasagna comes right up to the top. We're going to put this sheet in and repeat the rest. Now we're down to our last layer of our lasagna sheets. So that's going to go right on top. Give that a nice coating of our marinara sauce. And I like to make sure we get in the corners. I don't like any dried, unsauced corners of my lasagna. That annoys the hell out of me. Now we're gonna take some of our mozzarella cheese that we use for our pizza. Put that right on top. Try to get as much coverage as you can. Now we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of fresh basil. This basil, I don't know, what do you think, Sammy? It looks a little wilted, right? It's a little, uh... It smells nice, it smells beautiful, but I don't know. It's got a little bit, it looks like it's been out here a little bit. Give me this too long. It's still fresh, right? Let's roll it up, give it a quick chop. So 
some little ribbons like this. Just give it a little sprinkle over the top of the oven. It smells great. Okay, now we're gonna pop this thing in the oven at home. Set your oven to about 375 degrees, preheat it, put it in for probably 30, 35 minutes. Yeah, about, about a half an hour. Put this in, and we're gonna wait. Okay, let's see how this lasagna is doing in here. Oh my God. Yeah, perfect on the top. Let's, let's try to take it out without spilling. It's not good for these people. Look at it, it's perfect. Look at the cheese. Perfectly crispy on the top and not burnt. The sides are all covered. A little tiny crispiness right here. That's all right though, but I did a good job with the coverage right here. This lasagna is gonna be an A plus I can kick. Our lasagna is out of the oven and we're ready to give it a try. You can already tell it's gonna be awesome. It looks great. Look, look at that. Look at how the cheese is, is crispy, it's perfect. You put a little extra basil on the top just to freshen it up a little bit. Got the perfect amount of sauce on it, the perfect amount of cheese on top, and we're ready to, to cut into this thing. This thing probably will feed two to four people. These are nice slices of it. So this is like a quarter of it right here. And you know, this will probably make you full if if you eat this piece right here. You know, two two fat guys like me, four normal people probably. Let's cut into this thing though. Alright, what do we got? See what we got on the inside. All right. How's that look? So that's one. That's one quarter of this tray of lasagna. I mean, that's enough for what? That's enough for a normal person, right? What do you think? A normal, a normal person. Are we charging enough for this thing? Right? I think we're charging. I think we're. I don't know. You know, you 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 can feed four people for that price. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna rethink this. People better get it, get it before we decide to make the change. So I'm gonna try this now. All right. Oh. So one of the perks of the job. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this thing. I'm not just gonna say this because I made it from the bottom of my heart. It was the best lasagna I've ever had. They're probably the best lasagna you'll ever have. Unless you've already had one of my lasagnas before. I'm not trying to sound cocky. Does it sound cocky? Yeah, it yeah, actually does. I don't know, maybe I'm being cocky, but this is fucking unbelievable. I just swore the video. It really is that good. I swear to God. I didn't even go to lasagna college. You didn't go to lasagna school? And I'm just good. Yeah, I feel that lasagna school. I don't know how it happened. Make this at home. If you don't want to make it at home, come to our website. We'll send you one. Thanks for watching. More to go ahead. Make it nice.